I've been asked if I would model a toggle switch. I've done one before, but it was a little bit in, involved. And so I'm going to do this here. So I'm going to start with a circle and choose six vertices. Go into edit mode, look from the front and extrude it up a little bit. Just like that, E and S. I'm going to bring it in, deselect, press two for edge selection. I'm going to select these outer edges. There we go, and this top edge, all right? Control B to bevel, pull like that. Roll my mouse up once, so I have three segments in there, and deselect. Right click, shade smooth, and I'll come over here and I'll add weighted normal, and under normals, auto smooth. Okay, next, let's add a cylinder. Let's go for 16 vertices. We'll leave the ends closed with an end gone. Scale that down scale it in the Z and pull it up like that. Let's select this top face and this bottom face and press I to inset, pull it in and control E bridge edge loops to make a hole. Let's come underneath and select these faces and delete them. I can take this whole thing and scale it in the Z a little bit, scale it in just like that. All right, two edge selection, select these edges and control B, pull. I'll have three segments, but I'm going to pull it in quite a bit like that. And then control one for one subdivision and shade smooth. So I've got that. All right, now we're going to make the actual toggle switch with the cylinder again. Just like that, I'm going to scale it down till it fits. And I'm going to take this bottom face and just pull it up to around there. Take this one and pull it up a little bit more. Now this one I'm going to round, control B, pull. Now the thing to, to note as I control B is that center face there, that's gray, that's going to determine the width of the stock that comes up. So I want it kind of small like that. I'm going to roll my mouse up to make it nice and round, just like that. Okay, so we have that. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull that. I want it underneath this ring. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to scale shift Z just so it pushes out to the sides. I guess we could come under here, we could pull this up, we could delete this bottom face, not gonna matter. We're gonna take that one there. That's gonna determine the, the width, all right? And I'm going to E to extrude, I'm gonna pull it out from the height that I want it, and S to scale. It's gonna start getting fatter, like that. Something like that, anyhow. E to extrude one more time up, like that. All right, now I'm going to bevel that, control B, pull. And I want a good number of segments. I'm going to bring it in like this. I don't want them to cross. So something like that, nice and round. Okay. Next thing, we're going to add an edge loop and slide it up a little bit. I want it about, I think, halfway of the size of this whole thing. Now I'm going to select this top in face selection and control plus to expand my selection all the way down to that new edge loop I added. Okay, I'm going to tilt it a bit because I'm going to hit E to extrude and then Alt S and push to make it expand out to make the plastic that goes over there or the rubber. Bring an edge loop up, bring an edge loop down, control one, shade smooth, and I'm going to bring another edge loop down here that'll narrow that out a little bit. So that still may be a little thick so you just have to decide what you want to do we can try to make it a little thinner by uh, going to, to edit select all of this let's look in solid view I may have to come down one more I'm going to scale shift Z and pull it in a little narrower like that and then really we have to adjust things we may have to pull this up a bit let's try that and see how it looks all right, so it's a little trial and error there. I may bring one more edge loop up. Okay, at this point, uh, that is our toggle switch. We'll tilt it in a bit. Let's see if I want to pull it up just ever so slightly. Okay, let's take this and make a collection out of it. M, new collection, I'll call this switch one. And I'll make some more in a bit. I'm gonna look down from the top. Shift A, mesh plane. I'm going to make a little sort of metal plate that this could fit on. Scale this in the X. 
and do something like that. One for vertex selection and shift control B to bevel. I'm gonna pull and I wanna have five vertices in that curve right there, something like that. Select it, extrude it down a little bit and delete that bottom face. And in face selection, select that top face, control B and I, okay, we have a problem there. So I'm going to M merge by distance. I'm also going to Alt, uh, Alt 10, copy it outside. Let's grab that face again and see if we can bevel this properly. Yes, we can. I need maybe two segments in there. Shade smooth. And um, what am I doing? Weighted normal. Auto smooth. So we have that there. Um, we have this as a collection. So let's take that, put it there. Shift D, drag another one out to the middle position. I'm gonna make that a new collection. Switch to, just to stay organized. And I'll do one more. Pull that out to somewhere around there. Make a new collection, I'll call that switch three. And then I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna look from the side. And my 3D cursor is at the bottom, so I'm just gonna click R to rotate. I'll do something like that. And that's looking okay. Maybe that, maybe they are a little bit high. Maybe they should be lowered down again. Let's try that. And I'll take this one and I'll look from the side and I'll R to rotate and we'll go this way. That's okay. So just to show that you can put them in different positions. Okay. I'm gonna do one more thing and that is I'm gonna create a little bar in behind. I'm gonna rotate X90, pull that up, scale it in the X so it's a little bit wider than the switches there. And I'm going to select that edge and delete those edges or that edge, sorry. Select those points and shift control B and pull, give myself a nice curve. I want five vertices in there, so roll your mouse up or down. I want something like that. Right click, convert to curve. And in the curve dialog box over here under geometry and bevel, hold down shift as you pull to the right under depth and get the, the, the thickness that you want. I'm not really sure how thick that's supposed to be. Shade smooth, control one if you want. Um, I think that's a bit high. I just don't really know. So I'm just going to pull it down a bit. And I'll take the whole thing and I'm going to pull it back here. And I don't really like the way this joins to the metal plate. So I'm going to select those two vertices, Shift D and P to break it out. So I have another curve there. I'm going to increase that so it looks like a cylinder. And then I'm going to convert it to a mesh in just a minute. I'm just going to lower this down to about there. All right, and then I'm gonna change that to four and I'm going to right click convert to mesh and so I can come in here and select that edge, E and S and pull it in and then grab that edge and bevel and I maybe need just one or two in there and shade smooth. And my 3D cursor should be right in the middle so I should be able to take this and mirror it to the other side like that. And finally, I just not crazy about the size of this plate. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit. I'm going to box select here and I'm going to pull it up and the sides. I'm going to pull out a little bit past the bar like that. Select everything, go into edit mode, alt N, recalculate outside in case anything was flipped. And we should be able to come over here, put the cavity shader on, maybe the shadow as well, and just switch to this so we can look at this. And there we have our toggle switches. To me, this is a little bit thick, so when I beveled my cylinder, maybe I should have beveled it more and had a smaller face on the top there so I could extrude it up a little bit uh, narrower. But anyways, so that's one way that you could create a toggle switch. So. Hope that was uh, helpful or interesting to somebody.